Hello everybody, it's a loyal gamer and we are here for the final fight for Let's Play Sweet Coden 3. Oh yes. Luke, I don't think anybody understands you. <laughs> Now that's probably using the true power against us. Oh crap, man. Here we go. Here we go, people. So it begins. Big giant bird. When I mean giant, I mean fucking giant. It's huge. As we'll see for the final battle. Yeah, this thing is is gi is gargantuan. <coughs> Alright, so this is the true uh, Wind Rune reincarnation. Uh, it has a crap ton of health points, as you can see. And there are f a couple things that you want to focus on here first. Thankfully, this boss fight is really not all that hard at all. Um, but name a boss fight that is hard in this game, besides Uber. <laughs> Anyway, um, getting back to the point, uh, you don't really want to cast offensive uh, spells as much. Uh, what you basically want to do is you want to get rid of the water rune, the true water uh, rune reincarnation or whatever it, these orbs are. Main reason why is because it's healing. So in order to do, but in order to do that, you have to destroy the uh, true thunder uh, clone as well. Oh, it's the water crystal, earth crystal. Okay, so these are the crystals of the fire, or the true rune things. I'm just getting all tongue-tied now. But, um... <clears throat> yes, yeah, so you first want to attack the thunder, and then when you're uh, done with the thunder, you can get rid of the, uh, the water. And basically what I, the, what I uh, intend to do is just to end up attacking just the actual uh, bird itself uh, once we have the fire rune. See, it's really annoying with these runes because they cast like all these powerful spells and crap. So you better have uh, high magic resistance on your guys here. All right, Nay, kick that shit in. It's time to kick it on overdrive, man. Man, this is crazy with all the colors flying around. <laughs> I have to say, uh, out of all the sweet codes I've played, this is definitely the trippiest boss battle. Yeah, and he'll do this annoying little attack thing, which will rape your party. Yeah, it's going to be a little over 100 damage. Now, watch out for the Earth Rune. He spans the most spells from this room particularly. So it's always a good thing to never cast offensive uh, spells here. Yeah, just look at that. Shit. Alright, usually when it lights up like this, uh, that means that it's the, uh, that particular rune's turn to cast a spell. So, we're probably going to end up uh, having to deal with the fire rune next, or the, or the fire crystal. I'm always going to call them cr uh, runes. <laughs> 
or whatever. I think we should fit this battle within an episode. It should really shouldn't be all that bad. Um, <clears throat> now, what I did, I actually at the last minute uh, slapped that Mother Earth rune on uh, Rhodey there from Ayla, and it should actually help you out a lot. Alright, so... Got that going on. Should be good. Nice! See, with Hugo hitting that hard, it should be really easy to take on all of these runes. <coughs> oh, God. My throat's all sore from talking this long. Also, also, we have uh, the epic boss music going on. Crap, I don't think we needed that spell to be cast, but... Better be safe than sorry, right? Oh, crap, what are you doing? Oh. Yeesh! It's hitting hard. Like, this boss really hits hard, so you gotta be careful about that. <coughs> so, again with the spell. Great. So, what happens? If you cast an offensive spell against him uh, while he casts that spell, then you pretty much uh, get the spell reflected back on your party. Even if you do have that same spell casted on your party, it's still gonna uh, um, hurt you, so you gotta be careful with that. We'll probably get rid of the uh, fire and water runes now. We should probably get rid of the water rune first, though, so... We'll go ahead and heal. You should probably uh, heal every turn to get used to it. And just for our own protection, we're going to cast one of these on our party. Stonehenge. Awesome. All right, Hugo. So far, so good. This battle's going on very smoothly. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, one of the reasons why you want to get rid of the water room. But we reflected it. Aha. Uh -huh. Attack of the bitch too. Wow. <laughs> That's all I have to say to that. That's like all of like the true runes combined into that thing. Holy crap, man. Alright, so uh well we can't do a shining wind. That's right, because we cast that Mother Earth spell. Uh, earthquake we really can't use, period. So... Uh, let's see here. Alright, what well, I'll probably do is cast Vengeful, ti uh, Vengeful Childs on uh, pairs of people. And... Yeah, that will pretty much... Uh, do for now. I mean, it'll reduce the overall damage that the party uh, gets afflicted upon, so we'll just do that and we'll be all set. Please kill that water crystal. Oh, crap. Oh, wow. All right. 
wait. Let's cast it. You're gonna do this stupid attack. So, uh, compared to the first two Suicoden games, uh, I'd say that my favorite would have to go to uh, my favorite final boss battle for any of the Suicoden games. I don't know. See, this one is really on par with uh, the first game in terms of easiness. It's really not that hard, but I think that I'd still have to go with Sweet Code 1 being my favorite uh, final boss of the game, with Barbarossa. It's just too epic. It's really hard to beat. I mean, the second game you had Leon Silverberg, and it was like, eh, well, you know. And in this game with Luke, it's kind of like that same detached feeling. But with the first Sweet Code, it's just like totally different like, circumstances, it feels like. So it'll definitely have to go to the Golden Hydra, it was called. That's my favorite boss. End of the boss of battle thing. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Awesome. Oh, earthquake, what a dick move. There's no ground below us. Seriously, all this is just a, a swirling vortex of doom. Ah. All right, well we're almost done, guys. Uh, at this point, uh, I would just focus right on the uh, wind reincarnation, and just I wouldn't even waste your time with the Earth Room. It's really not gonna hurt you like at all. Um, should I cast Hellfire? I'm so tempted to. Ooh. But it looks like it also uh, attacks some of our people here, so I guess that's not a good idea. Actually, it would be more effective if Hugo just did physical attacks, so whatever. Uh, let's see here. We'll cast a Vengeful Child on us. Or, I'm sorry, well, yeah, but another Paramount. But there we go. Nice! Loving this damage, Ragnarok. Right I mean, yeah, for the most part, this battle's pretty easy. I mean, kind of a fart in the wind there. I hope you got my uh, pun. But it's, it's whatever. <laughs> We're almost done, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Man, we're really doing well. I'm really surprised. Okay, so, uh, I'll probably just go ahead and use Flowing now. Uh, I don't know. Let's start attacking that Earth Room. I'm just, I'm just tired of seeing it. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and kill it. Uh, Battlefield. Huh. That should do us. Nice! Ah. Yeah, start casting that jongler rune. That'll definitely speed things up. <clears throat> Alright, heal us up, Vicky.
Up oh, here it goes again. Meow. Okay, thank god it's only that spell. We need to watch the earthquake us again. Retarded. Alright, so we're pretty much almost done with this thing, I would say. Let's see. Cast another kindness rain here, and we'll just go on ahead. Mm. Uh, what should I do with you? Huh. Should I do the shredding? No, I shouldn't do the shredding. What am I thinking here? I don't even know if I should do another Guardian Earth or not. We'll do a Vengeful Child, I guess. Here we go. Nice. Is this it? Is this it? Oh, we won! <coughs> this has been Let's Play Sweet Coden 3 with your host, a loyal gamer, and that is the end of Luke and his ambitions. Woo! What an intense battle. Awesome, and we still got our victory music. How epic is that? Alright. Alright, I'll see you for the remaining cutscenes, guys. Have a nice day. Later, people. Thank you.